there everybody, my name is Chris Shodogs the Bomb Bob of Theme Park News and welcome to a especially sad Theme Park Newsroom update. This is a very sad one, it's completely out of the blue. Two Apex Group parks are set to close. Uh, we've got Fantasy Island. I'm not going to cover that one uh, in this video. I may, if you want to do a separate video on Fantasy Island's closing in New York, not the not the one in Nest, Don't worry. Um, don't worry, UK theme park fans. I mean the one in New York. Uh, then please just mess it, comment down below. Comment down below if you want to see a video on Fantasy Island's closure. But. This is going to focus on Indiana Beach. It's closing after nearly 100 years of operation, specifically 94 years of operation. Now, before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. So, like I said, completely out of the blue news. Very, very sad. Very, very shocking news um, coming from Indiana Beach and the Apex Group, the Apex Parks Group closing the property uh, and apparently according to a sister station to an American news, uh, news source it is not set to reopen um, now unless they find a new buyer this is subject, these sort of you know articles are subject to change if they find a buyer for the site you know it, it, it'd be nice to see a buyer I mean I saw somewhere in a comment section somewhere on someone else's video about it that there were rumours that the owners of Holiday World uh, you know, that operate Thunderbird and, things, and the Wing Coaster and things like that. They were on about buying it, but again, I'm not going to confirm that as of yet. It's just a rumour that I saw in the comments, so I'm not going to take that any further. Uh, it would be nice if they did. Uh, it would be nice if, if, if anyone bought it. I mean, see the fair. Uh, you look at what they're doing. I watched a Movement Insiders video last night with the uh, after the conference call, and there was so, so much planned, you know... Um, Something about the hotel budget eating away, or the revenue of the hotels eating away, or something like that. Can't remember exactly uh, until 2021. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, you know, 2022 is going to be the start of massive investments at the parks, across all the parks. So, it would be nice to see the fair bought Indiana Beach. But, let's go on about what we are looking at the articles uh, from, the news on the articles. So, the long-time summer getaway was known for catchy jingles featured in its commercials and the tagline, there's more than corn in Indiana. Well, now there just might be corn. Uh, now, White Con County Economic Development Director Randy Mitchell told this American news source the decision comes from the park's parent company, Apex Park Group, which would be able to find a buyer for the park. So, that could rule out the possibility of it reopening with a new buyer. In addition to dozens of seasonal workers, Indiana Beach employed 27 people in administrative and maintenance positions. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been talking too much today. Um, Mitchell said those workers were offered six weeks compensation, uh, and it holds a special place in many people's heart. Uh, now, his now Moncello Mayor Kathy Gross said my first job was there, as were my children. So this is a real. You know, historically sad moment. Uh, now, I'm sure most of you out there are thinking, what's going to happen to the roller coasters? Now, if you have no idea of this place and you need an idea uh, of these uh, roller coasters, uh, you've got Cornball Express, which is a CCI. Uh, I'm thinking that's not going to sort of be re relocated anywhere. I think that's going to get demolished. Uh, Who's a Hurricane? That's another CCI that opened in 1994. I think that's going to go, unfortunately. Uh, Lost Coaster of Superstitious Mountain. I think that's going to go. Uh, if you don't know what it is, that's another CCI. Um, Steel Hog, that's an SSL that opened in 2008. I think that's going to go somewhere. And the Tiger Coaster in 1984, which is a Schwarzkopf Jet Star. That could go somewhere. It, it's a bit 50 50 that one, but I think one coast that will definitely go somewhere is, of course, Steel Hawk. Now, of course, where would it go? Because if you wanted to put a compact thrill coaster into your park, um, you know, you need something that's not going to cut. You want something for a good price, and Steel Hawk's a decent steel coaster. Uh, and especially if it's a relocation from there, it's going to be a cheap price to buy it. So. 
I think that, I mean, I'm probably jumping way out of my league here, but I hope that a UK park competes with Mumbo Jumbo at Flamingo Land and buys this ride. If not, somewhere in Europe. Somewhere in Europe. It won't be that hard. I mean, Pleasurewood Hills, they could do with this coaster. Uh, going into Europe, there's a couple of smaller parks out there. Um, Murder Sable, which is a little small park in France. We know they're putting in a Vacoma coaster this year, but maybe the next year they could put in this SNSL Loco to do two back to back coasters. Um, I thought of another park actually uh, the Recre de Cures that's putting in the Gersa Eurofire to Vatica uh, in 2020 maybe they could do a no a another Beyond Vertical Drop Coaster in this El Loco but again would it make sense maybe not uh, so it's a bit sort of difficult uh, comment down below where you think Steel Hawk's going to go because I think that's the one coaster that's definitely going to get relocated uh, I think if there was a wooden coaster out of both this and Fantasy Island in New York that was going to get relocated, it would probably be Silver Comet at Fantasy Island. I don't think the CCIs from uh, Indiana Beach will be going anywhere, my personal opinion, uh, which is a shame. It's a real, real shame. Uh, but rest in peace, Indiana Beach. I mean, it doesn't look like there's going to be a buyer anytime soon. And it looks like all the rides are going to go. They're going to be relocated, or they're going to be demolished, or they're going to be sold for scrap. Um, they could get relocated if they wanted to, but again, would they? I mean, it'd be interesting to see what does get relocated to another park, but again, any more news on that, I'll report it here first. Uh, so yeah, Indiana Beach, rest in peace, and Fantasy Island in New York, rest in peace again. If you want to see a video on that separately, comment down below. But I'm in shock. I really am in shock because it was a, I, I did my research on it a couple of years ago already. It was, a, it was a smaller park compared to the big ones. It was an independent park first before Apex Parks Group bought it. And, you know, I re it, it, was, it, it was a nice little place. It looked like a nice little place. So it would have been a, a park credit that I wanted to get. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's the case anymore. So uh, if I want to get the credits like Steel Hog, that's going to be at a different park, I think. So, um, yeah, comment down below your memories if you've ever been to Indiana Beach. But... Thank you very much, guys, for watching this very sad theme park news from update from Indiana Beach. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Get your questions in using the hashtag question before or after your question. Make sure you follow the channel, share the channel with your friends, family, and on social media. And for now, guys, keep on the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day.